Hello everyone! Welcome to the first episode of my new series From Zero to Mice and Mystics, where I will be diving into the world of miniature painting. In this series you will see me learn from my own mistakes. In this video I will experiment with different approaches to primers. I will primarily use oil paints, so if you're following along, please be aware of any hazards this may pose to you or your environment. Stay safe! As you may see on the screen, I will try out 7 different approaches with the help of 7 miniatures that I found in one of my board games, Mice and Mystics. Before we get to painting, I need to fix our subjects on the cork to make handling them easier without smudging the paint. I ended up choosing a double-sided tape that was too strong and it stuck to some of the miniature forever. I didn't see that coming. So gather your scissors, double-sided tape, but not as strong as mine, a miniature and cork and let's get started. I would like to share with you the background of this video. Since I'm new to painting miniatures, I've been soaking up tons of videos on YouTube, including some gems my friends shared with me. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a video that covers everything I needed, especially regarding the use of oil paints, which tends to be not as popular as acrylics. This sparked my desire to conduct my own experiments and answer the questions popping up in my mind. Besides, the cork was really useful for handling the miniatures throughout the process. First up, the primal layer. I'm experimenting with different starts to see which suits my style best. I've got two colored primers, white and black from surface primer scale 75. I'm using an old brush that is small, but not too small. Acrylics tend to dry really fast, so it would be really a shame if one of my finest brushes were destroyed that way. Remember to shake the primer really well before using it. First off, I started with the first layer of black primer. It was pretty straightforward. Just add paint to the miniature. What's a primer? It's a specific type of a paint that helps make the starting color uniform and assists in adhering paint to the surface of the miniature. The second was more specific idea, but the first layer was also black. And the next two miniatures had also white first layer. Next up, one of black prime miniatures I dry brushed with white, so it would add some dimension to the miniature. Each miniature got another layer 
of the same paint, but except for the white miniatures. There I added some white acrylic paint to my primer because the original white primer was so diluted that it had coverage issues. After most acrylics that I wanted to use in this project were set, I jumped into using some oil paints. It was still the priming process. I wanted to check out how my staining for canvas paintings will do its job. Uh, I'm using here a turpentine most of the time for dilution, so be careful and be in well ventilated area. So I've created my old wash and slapped it onto the specific two miniatures. A wash is really diluted paint that will go into all crevices, but also specifically prepared for oil painting and canvas. This oil wash I'm using is really useful in the sketching process because it dries faster than normal oil paint and you easily can create the dimension in your sketch like adding some shadows or highlights. On this miniature I've slapped too much of my wash so I used cotton swabs to pick it up from areas that I wanted to be not colored as much.
This is for the priming process. For painting, I use oil paints Rembrandt by Talens and Artist Oils paint by Windsor and Newton. I'm not sponsored or affiliated in any way. These are just the brands I personally prefer after trying out various options. I chose oils because they feel more natural to me, unlike acrylics, which don't resonate with my soul. I prepared my favorite palette of colors with added more warmer tones. So I used Burn Umber French Ultramarine, Titanium White, Cadmium Yellow Medium, Transparent Oxide Red, Yellow Och, Turquoise Blue and Permanent Alizarin Crimson. In another video, if you would like to, I could show everything what I'm using and why I'm using this paint. Because I'm like one big disaster, I broke my glove. Well, I think these disaster things will stay with us for longer. As we can see, it will be like running joke. So <laughs> write in the comment what I will break another time. <laughs> After priming, I started with the main color layer. Since oil paints tend to be translucent when tinted, I began with the carapace, painting it an orangish brown, while the head, legs and abdomen got a dark brown. While it was still wet, I blended some paints to create a nice gradient. Each miniature I wanted to paint the same way, so the differences would be seen in the end. With the black primer, there was a problem making colors look how I wanted, everything ended up darker. The black and white primer was really nice to use from the start. The colors easily hit the spot and were covering just as I wanted. I added lighter accents near the dark head of the miniature and highlighted the abdomen to enhance its appearance. The most fun I had was painting the miniature with no primer, actually. I was thinking if you ever wanted to try painting miniatures or not, and if you have some nice videos or creators to share with, or maybe some ideas. I was thinking also about starting to paint miniatures years ago, but never had the time or concentration to start, and here I am. After different testing and experiments uh, that I will do in this series, I finally will be able to set a complex tutorial on how I paint and all. Would you be interested in this kind of video? Or maybe you prefer to watch someone paint with music and nothing more? Or maybe you prefer as someone is telling a story that is not even connected with painting? If you would like to share with me your thoughts, just write a comment. I will definitely read it. Once the paint set, I added another layer to the carapace. This time a more reddish tone like wine, which gave the miniature more dimension. I then added more highlights and various detailed touches to create depth and interest.
after the miniature were painted and hardened. I was thinking how to approach the bases. So I chose to make the different bases so I could check out which style of base suits me best. Uh, here is a wooden floor. Different terrains have a really important function. So I could tell which miniature was painted with which primer. Because besides it one couldn't tell the difference. Which is really nice that I've managed to do almost the same miniature. Uh, that spotting a difference is problematic. But also for video it would be really hard or concerning to show the difference actually, yeah? This could really easily get mistaken and it's not good, yeah? Or fun.
I finish most of them with a black rim. I like the most basic looking base, the one that was painted with color of the plastic of miniature. I'm not decided yet on which version of painting a base I should stick to. I hope it will clarify soon. In the end, the miniatures look quite similar and it's hard to tell which techniques were used on each. I tried scratching them after they fully hardened. The paint adhered really well, except when forcefully scratched with a hard metal edge. The color setting with the grey, black and white dry brushing and no primer was easiest to achieve the desired look. White or thin white didn't pose any problems but didn't help either. And the toughest of them all, in my opinion, of course, was black primer. I made skip priming all together when using oil paints. It adds an extra step and waiting time, which can be a bit inconvenient. As for the base, I prefer the original color or something that transitions smoothly between not painted and painted terrain but I'm open to adapting this based on specific needs. Now, pause the video if you would like to check out how long it took me with each miniature. Well, it's not really justifying because it's the first time and as I went with this process, next miniatures were painted faster and better in my opinion. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button. Also, leave a comment. And see you next time. Bye bye.